Hello everybody, time for a new shave. <clears throat> Not a drunken shave this time, I'm sober, totally sober. Sorry for that last video, but <clears throat> it's fun to do sometimes those drunken shaves. Uh, let's forget that and think of today's shave. Uh, what was the name of that? Salt Lake, uh, Salt Lake Soap, uh, shaving soap from Australia. It's a gift from uh, Peter Sullivan. And the name is uh, Attitude, and it's really nice scent in this. The barber, little bit the barber shop is sent to it. I like it very much, so I'm gonna match it with Pinot Original. Uh, this scent I love really much. Be like a really nice ladder as usual. These bulb soaps, as you can see, really peaky, nice. Using uh, the Moog Owners Club. I don't know if you can see there is a marking. The Moog Owners Club. Uh, Bore brush, a uh, bad bore brush, sorry, bore brush, right. <laughs> and the razor today is a gift from another really nice friend. <laughs> Maybe not a friend, but a YouTube uh, commenter or my person that commented in my YouTube, sorry, I'm starting to mumble again. This beautiful razor, a Chevette, it's, uh, I have a note here, Monsieur Charles uh, Chevette. And uh, I got some uh, Persona hash of blades to it, uh, and it was a gift from uh, let's say Mark Davis. Sorry, so thank you so much from the bottom of my heart, Mark. I haven't used this yet, this first time I'm gonna use it. I have tried to go get these XR shades with that uh, CV Hellistron. So I now after 20 shades, so I thought I could use this. Yet. It's been a month since I got this, <coughs> I don't I forget it so. So then I'm gonna use it. And it have these Persona have separate blades that looks like this. And uh, just took that blade out and um, can show how to load it. Here's you get the small uh, knurling or whatever you call it. Chimps or whatever they call it. And you push it and you, you open up that that section of the blade. And you got this part here and the other part looks like this. So it's open here and on the other side the lid here you get that small, what do you call this, grooves or whatever you want to call it. And if you look closely, it matches very well. So I have to put it this way so I can see so I have to get the edge on the right side. So put the blade on like that, on those, and it's secured. And you gently push that. Oh, of course, it doesn't work. When I hold it like that, I'm gonna bear it in the place and just push it in and the blade goes in something like this. And now it's loaded with the blade. As you can see, no blade from that part to there, so it's gonna be difficult for me. I'm <laughs> always using the whole blade when I'm using a straight razor, so it's gonna see how this is work. I would think it would work just great. Uh, I'm gonna put these blades away for so long and start to ladder up. Yeah, a really nice gift from, uh, I have to walk, look at the, uh, my brain is not cope to handle some names of people and so on. Uh, imagine me as a teacher, uh, a lot of students, <laughs> I call them AU there, <laughs> uh, or something like that. There's a lot of students that they look at you something. You should know my name, but I have very difficult to remember names. Faces is the one thing, but names really hard for me. I do my best at school with my students. Of course, some students have learned the names, but I use nicknames, not to them, but with my colleagues when I'm talking to, you know, that guy called something and yeah, I give them nicknames. <laughs> it's easier for me to remember. Some names just work, some names difficult to know uh, why. They are not difficult word, uh, names and so on. Ordinary Swedish names, so it doesn't matter. I have always had, had trouble to remember names. So, but it works. Hey, you there, come here. You want to talk to me? <laughs> and so on. It works just great. Let's see how this works. Uh, it's a Chevetta and I know these uh, blades are always really sharp, so I have to be very gentle with the touch. But 
we shall see how it works. Feels really nice. So far, no issues. Feels great. Uh, as I see, I'm using that part, so I'm almost on the wrong place. I should use heavier meter. Uh, it's my uh, straight tracer thing. I always use the middle part of a lot of in my chase. I have to think about using the toe more. Feels nice to shave with, uh, not, not a lot of blade feel. And in my opinion, not difficult at all to find the angle. It's a little bit heft to it because this is metal all the way here. So it's a little bit, feels actually like a straight razor in the hand. And these uh, scales, uh, handles here are plastic, but it feels really nice. Uh, no sharp points in these parts here. They are grinded down, so feels really nice. Uh, As I told you, it's a Persona Hashimoto blade. They are sharp, really sharp. I have to be very light on the touch. But I think... Shape's really nice. Feels great, in my, on my skin at least. So far. <laughs> and uh, two days ago, it just disappeared. <laughs> in a glint oh, and that's the reason why i don't like small handles <coughs> when i'm bow laddering because it was lying like that in the bowl uh, so i got ladder a little bit of ladder in here and i don't like to have ladder on the handle but it's, just wipe it off and use it so it should be no issues but i don't fancy that so i'm, I'm a little bit Irritated every time that happens. <laughs> this is a really nice uh, soap, in my opinion. Uh, really nice scent, not strong, strongly scented. Just great, in my opinion. And this brush hugs a lot of uh, ladder, but uh, I think it's a nice brush. Uh, always wanted to have a Simone Owners Club brush was thinking of buying uh, these different type of wooden handles and so, but I bought that one uh, and I think it's a, a great brush. Works just great for me. And I like, like ball brushes, a little bit stiffer, different feeling. Uh, I like synthetic, I like badger too, but I think ball brushes are really nice. Uh, let's see how this pass works. I would think that I have a smaller uh, edge there and be very gentle with my strokes. Very easy to push a little bit, as you can see. Catch everything. <laughs> uh, small bump or something there, just cuts it off immediately because these blades are so sharp. <laughs> I'm going to fix that. Oh, in just a moment. And the rush.
dropped in the road again. <laughs> they also don't short these blades, so I take the other. You don't feel the cut, it just happens, and uh, you start to bleed. <laughs> uh, maybe I had something there, or bump or something, or I just pushed a little bit too much. As I told you, they are really, really sharp. On the second, third pass, uh, I like these blades much better. All the D blades I use. Initial, initial, what do you call it? <laughs> uh, shave, first shave is too rough for me. We also don't shop. You really have to think about the pressure and the angle. And I have to think I have to oh no, use the tip of the razor. I can't use the heel because the blade stops there. So I can't use that part. Then it would not cut. But it's like a nice second pass. It's almost BBS, so <laughs> well, I'm going to do the third pass too, just a little bit <coughs> on my travels pass or so, but it feels just great, uh, really awesome. It feels nice to shave with it. Uh, so far, only thing I have to think of, except for the pressure, of course, but that's the with every D or Chevette I use or the eraser. On the first pass but i have to think that the edge is only on the tip so far it seems to be working and now it doesn't matter if that brush is going slowly slowly oh, there. <laughs> it looks like this it doesn't matter i'm gonna i'm not gonna shave with it anymore <laughs> i'm gonna clean it so that's no issue so let's see the third pass here You see, I have to take that part one more time because that edge doesn't cut uh, over there. Just have to think a little bit different, thinking what edge is, what the sharp point is. Careful here, I cut my just a little bit on the second pass. See, open it up again. <laughs> We're going to see that after this half pass here. Really awesome. It feels really awesome actually. I like it. Yeah. I thought the only thing was think about where you got that blade <clears throat> and where you don't got that blade. That's the only thing you have to think about for me, for me at least. Otherwise, it works just great. So here I have to take that part and then that part because I can't take that whole part. With one stroke because there is only blade in the half of that chevette. I have to start up and then go down because if I start down, then I'm going to wipe off the blade uh, ladder with that pot that would that's not the blade. So I have to start up and then go down instead. No difficulties for me. I think it's just 
one thing you have to think about different from a straight racer. I'm just going just to do a quick rinse and I'll be back. Oh, really nice. No more nicks. Maybe I got some weepers. See how it feels when I got that aftershave splash on my face. <laughs> Probably it's going to burn a little bit. The feels go nice. That bit, maybe some bump or something I had. Curl thing, I just cut it open. As I told you, they were darn sharp those blades on the first attempt. Uh, Pinot original, like this really much. Awesome scent, nice, nice barbershop scent. Yeah, a little bit sting, a little bit here and there. But not much, just a little bit, of course. Uh, no big issues at all. Not much, no burning. It's a little bit stinging, but no burning at all. Uh, fits just great. Really awesome shave. Fits PBS. Because they're so down sharp. So in my opinion, what do you think about, uh, what I think about this? Just a moment, I'm going to wipe it off a little bit. A little bit cleaner. Like that. So what I think about this uh, Monsieur Charles uh, Chevette. Really awesome Chevette. There's water in there dropping from that end. Real awesome, feels great in the hand. A uh, little bit heft to it, not uh, light as uh, ordinary chivettes because this has this metal part here uh, with gyms and so on. So feels feels like a straight razor in my, my opinion. Feels great in the hand, shaves really nice. Only thing I have to think about the edge is there, where my finger goes, not on that part. So if you like I do that, oh, how do I do that last? Like this, the, the, oh shit, I have to think. Yeah, when I do this part of the shave, I have to start from upside instead of down and up. Because if I start from the down part here, I'm going to wipe off that ladder from this part with that part where there is no uh, edge. Uh, so small things have to change. Uh, I can't, as I usually do, Use my this type technique here uh, using that part of the blade here, but I can use it in that part instead. So it's just small, small different things. Uh, no issues for me. No, I didn't think it was hard to use it, but nothing at all. Just an awesome, awesome Chevette. I'm going to use it uh, several more times and I like it very much. So thank you so much. Real, real awesome gifts. It's from Mark Davis. Thank you so much, Mark. Gonna put this like that as a what do you call it the picture in, in on the video i don't know what the name of it is it's, ah, you know it i know it too but i don't remember it right now so thank you for watching my everybody and thank you so much for watching my hot mark did really really awesome have a great great week and we shall see you next time whatever it is bye for long bye bye